Hello champions and future champions, hello chessmod family. GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are beginning our daily lesson. Again, I am gonna be keeping the topic of this daily lesson as a secret and first of all I will ask you to pause the video and think what would you play here for white. If you are just simply trying to promote with f8 knight check, in order after a king h8 to make a mate with knight g6, it's not working, as after f8 knight, black is gonna be able to take bishop f8, rook f8, and there is a perpetual check after queen e1, king h2 and queen e5, black is gonna be able to make a draw in this position. So, before revealing you the answer for this position, I will just change a position. In this situation, we have a very simple spot when white is mating with rook d8 check. Now if king h7, rook h8 is mating, or here if king f7, rook f8 is mating. This is called the hook mate. The hook mate is a very useful and instructive checkmate pattern that demonstrates optimal coordination between a rook and the knight. The pattern is named after its visual appearance that resemble a hook. So, this is what we are going to cover today, and again, in the previous example which we saw, white is now beginning with queen c5 move, just getting rid of this bishop. The thing is that when there is no bishop on c5 after it takes, f8 knight promotion is just mating. So now after king g8 we are going knight g6, if king h7 rook h8 is mating, and if king f7, rook f8, the hook mate is happening again. So guys, that's what we're going to do today. Let's now go ahead to see our next example. Here, it's white to move. In this endgame, black is having a bishop pure advantage, but luckily white has a strong way of playing now. You can pause the video, guys, and try to find the winning continuation. So, we need to get rid of the rook on d8, so it's covering the 8th rank. We're playing bishop takes d5, rook d5. Now, rook e8 is not possible since there is a bishop on b5. For this reason, we need to distract this guy, and now we're going c4. If black is not taking, we're gonna be winning the bishop and get a winning setup. Otherwise, if black decides to take with bishop takes c4, we're playing rook e8 check. King f7 and rook f8 checkmate. The hook mate is happening again. With the beautiful distractions, white is obtaining this mating setup. Let's go ahead to see the next one. Here we have a beautiful one coming. It's white to move. White is having an extra exchange now, but knight d3 check is a very dangerous idea, which will be difficult to face. So we need to do something about it, and you can pause the video guys trying to figure out how to play for white. So we're first of all taking rook takes f4, and let me mention this is not that we're getting rid of this knight which is covering d3 square, we're getting rid of the knight which is covering g6 square. Now knight d3 check is bringing no value to black since we're going to take back, and for this reason after rook f4 black just has to take, now we're playing knight g6 check. Of course black is not giving away the queen, even though that was the best continuation. The thing is that after king h7, again, we're taking queen takes g8, king g8, and rook e8 check. And after king f7, just rook f8 checkmate, another time mating in the same way. Let's go ahead now to see the next one. Here in this position is black team off. Black is trying to attack and we are seeing a good spot of knight on g3, which is giving us a reason to think about our favorite mate. But bishop on c5 is under attack and we need to decide how to play here, so guys you can pause the video and try to think about it. Black is playing in a very beautiful way using a nice tactical option, taking queen takes c3. The thing is now that queen c3 is gonna be mated. We are not on time to play rook d1 since we are getting checkmated on g7, but we can be playing bishop g1 check, which is with a tempo taking this king to the first rank, since this square is covered, white has to take, and after king g1, rook d1 is just mating, so now king f2 and rook f1 checkmate is happening. 
So for this reason, beginning queen c3 is a very strong move. If now white is going queen a to check, we just play king h8. And after takes, queen e1 is again mating. White has no checks, so queen h1 is just unstoppable. With this beautiful queen and bishop sacrifice, black is again taking white to require squares and mating with the tempo. Let's go ahead to see the next one. Here again, we're seeing white attacking and missing a piece. But h5 is open, we're having this option for our knight in future. And guys, you can be pausing the video and trying to figure out this continuation. If now you are trying to play queen d7, rook d7, knight f6 check, it's not going to work out since Kielak is having king g7 move. Rook h7 check, king f8. Rook h8 check, king g7. Now this square is covered and if we are trying to take, queen g2 is a checkmate as well. So. For this reason, we are not beginning with queen d7, but we are starting with rook takes c6. After it takes, the thing is now this rook is no longer on the 8th rank. And after queen d7, rook d7, now knight f6 is just gonna be mating. So it's happening, king g7, rook h7, king f8, rook h8, king e7. And rook e8 is our simple checkmate again. So in this way, white is winning. Let's go ahead to see our next example. In this interesting spot, it's black team move. Knight on c6 is a very strong piece, attacking a rook, bishop and making some pressure. You can be pausing the video guys and trying to figure out how to play here for black. If now you are trying rook b1 check, king f2 and rook f1, it's not working since there is king e3 move available for white. Otherwise, after rook b1 check and king f2, we're still having the winning continuation, but my suggestion was to begin this with rook takes c6, which is going to the position you just saw previously, and after d takes c6, rook b1 and king f2 were getting the same. Now, once again, if we give a check, king e3 is available, but we are having a good intermediate move, we are playing bishop d4 check. Since all other squares for white king are covered, we are just forcing them to cover this e3 with either a rook or a bishop, which actually doesn't make sense, since now, after that move, rook f1 is a checkmating move. We are forcing white to take the last square from the king. So, this was the last example I was going to show you in this topic, guys, and let's now go ahead so you can get your homework. This is gonna be your test for hawk mate checkmating topic. It's black to move. You can be sharing your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. Jim Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes, and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.